Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am going to be showing you how you can do text to speech in Python. So, this is a follow up to a previous tutorial I made. There's an eye up in the corner. We'll be using the Google text to speech library. However, there's a bit more functionality that I didn't cover in the previous tutorial. So, let's get into it. Firstly, you need to do from GTTS import GTTS. So, we can then import the Google text to speech module. After that, we are then going to do a string, my underscore text equals whatever we want to say. This is going to be our variable that's going to store the text that we want to convert to speech. After that, we are then going to do TTS equals GTTS my text, but we've got two more parameters. We're going to do lang equals en and slow equals false. So in this line, we're creating an instance of the Google text to speech class and we're providing it with three, three parameters. The first one's the text, the next one is the language, and then the other one is, do we want it to be slow or not? So in the previous tutorial, we didn't have these two here. But basically, you can customize the language, and yes, there will be different voices for different languages. And then we can specify, do we want it to be spoken slowly or not? A little useful example could be, maybe you're learning a new language. So you've got some foreign text in here, and you set the language to, let's say, Spanish, but you're not good with Spanish because you're a beginner, But you, so you can set the slow to true, and the voice will speak slowly. So you can hopefully understand more clearly what's being said while you are on your path to fluency. We're going to set slow to true, actually, because if you watched the previous tutorial, you would have heard what it's like at the normal speed. After that, we then do tts.saveoutput.wav. So we're going to save our work, but before we play, we need to actually install the GTTS library. So if you're in Visual Studio, you can go to your project, then you go to Python environments, and this is going to be the environment that's in your project. So you can right click on it, you can then do manage Python packages, and then you can type GTTS or pip install GTTS, and then you can click on run command, and then it installs it, so then you can use it. If you're not in Visual Studio, you're going to need to do this pip install command elsewhere. One place is the command prompt. So in my Windows setup, I can do pym pip install gtts to install it. It might be a slightly different command depending on your setup and depends on where you run the command prompt. It's a, it might be a bit different for different people, but these are two ways you can go about doing it. Now let's hit play. And it says press any key to continue. That means it worked. So where is this output file? Well, again, in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project, go to open folder in File Explorer, and this is where your Python project is. And this is where our output file is. It's going to be stored right next to our py file. So let's listen to it. Hello, YouTube. This is a test of Google text to speech. As you can see, that was pretty slow. So what if we did false instead of true for the slow and then hit play again? It's going to overwrite the previous file that we made. Hello, YouTube. This is a test of Google text to speech. Well, I wouldn't call that quick. It was quicker than the previous one. And it's actually a little smaller in file size because the audio file is smaller. Now, what if we do ES for the language, but we still use English text? Let's Hello, listen. YouTube. This is a test of Google text to speech. As you can see, it's still read for text. However, it did it from the perspective of interpreting that text as if it was Spanish. So the Spanish language would have different rules how to pronounce different letters and different combinations of letters than English. So which is why it sounds different. But it's really cool that you can do that. I've just put in a tiny bit of basic Spanish and I'm going to set true, uh, slow to true. So it's slow in speaking this, but let's hit play. It's working. Now let's listen. Hola, YouTube. And as you can hear, it did speak that a little slower. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.